Welcome to our Generation Games Exercise at Home video. My name is Sarah and I'm your exercise instructor. Our video has been designed to improve your cardiovascular fitness, your muscular strength and balance. It's primarily aimed at over 50s, whatever your ability or fitness level. Okay, all right, so let's go for our walk then. You can do all of the exercises at home and you can access over 2,000 activities in Oxfordshire by logging on to our website or looking at the contact details at the end of the video. We'd like you to progress through the video starting with the warm-up so that each time you do it you become stronger and can exercise for longer. And when you decide to stop, finish with the cool down section which will help to prevent injuries and ensure you get the best out of your workout session. It can be easier to keep yourself motivated if you invite a friend or relative to exercise with you. And if you'd like us to help you find an exercise buddy, then please get in touch. Anyone can exercise no matter what their barriers may be, and we're here to help. It's important to do some activity on most days of the week and avoid sitting down for long periods. Hello, hi, thanks. This is Margaret, who exercises daily. Yes, I feel at my age that it's important to exercise as well as do plenty of walking. You should also drink plenty of water before you exercise and make sure you have a sturdy chair that doesn't wobble. And you'll also need a resistance band similar to this one or a pair of old tights which are stretchy. Some people like to use tins or bottles which they fill with liquids or dried foods, but something like a baked bean tin is just excellent. You should all aim to exercise for a minimum of two and a half hours a week. If you're at risk of falls, you should also try to include the balance and coordination exercises at least two days of the week. Please do visit the Generation Games website for more ideas on keeping fit and active. I'll now take you through a moderate intensity workout that will last 30 minutes, designed to improve your cardiovascular fitness, your muscle strength and balance. Always work at your own ability and use support if you need to. We'll demonstrate three versions of the same exercise, and so use the one that best suits your ability. Sit tall, hold the chair if you need to, and ready, off you go with a march. Doesn't matter which leg you start with, try and sit as tall as you can. Fantastic, good. Do it again. Lovely, well done. So, let's do four more. Three, good. All right, let's do a heel dig, ready, off you go. Tap your heels in front, well done. Shoulders back and down. All right, change it to a side tap. Off you go. Attach the toes to the side. Good. Keep the hips facing forwards. Well done. All right, we're going to change that to a knee lift. Ready? Here we go. It's lift. That's great. Try and lift the knees towards the chest and keep the chest lifted. Fantastic, warming up nice and gently, nice and slowly. Good, all right, let's go back to the march. Let's do it all again. Shoulders back and down, sitting tall. Good. Lovely stuff. Great, tap your heels, off you go. Heels in front. Right, Dorothy. Good. All right. Remember, just work at your own level. Well done. Good. All right. And side tap. It's tap, tap. That's it. Fantastic. Toes to the side. 
sitting tall, well done, good. Looking forward with those shoulders back and down. Good, and finish it off with your knee lift, off you go, it lift. Good, all right, super stuff and relax. We're gonna work on the mobility of the joints, shoulders back and down, lift your shoulders to the ears and lower. And again, lift them up and lower. Two more. One more, okay. Lean down to your right, off you go. In line with your hip, come back to the center. Working through the spine, just loosening it up, one more each side, down and lift, one more. All right, let's do a heel and toe on your right foot, off you go. Go heel and toe, try and get the heel down where the toe has just been, fantastic. Good, other side, off you go. So work through the ankle joint, heel and toe. Keep lifting the knee and rest. Arms in front, take it around to the side and back to the center. Keep your hips facing forwards. Look the way you're going and just twisting through the spine just to warm it up. Fantastic, big shoulder roll to finish. Good, and again, nice and big, fantastic, and relax there, sit tall. We're gonna warm up a bit more, march again, sit tall in the chair. We're gonna add some arms this time if you can. All right, so the movements are getting a little bit bigger as you start to get a little bit warmer. Let's tap the heels in front again, off you go. Little bicep curl if you can. One or both arms, up to you. Good. All right, let's do eight more. Well done. Lovely, Dorothy. Looks great. Well done. Excellent. All right, let's tap the toes to the side. Off you go. Take your arms out to shoulder height. Good. It can be lower if that's more comfy on your shoulders. Eight more. Good. Lovely stuff. Well done, Robert. Looks good. Good. All right, ready for your knee lift. Ready? Here we go. Take one arm across your knee. Knee towards the chest, rather than chest to knee. It's lift, good. All right, and march, off you go. Well done, well done. Lift tall, we're gonna start working a little bit harder. Well done, good. All right, so keep going with your march if you can. Great, using the arms if you can. Now then, work at your own level during this section, really important, and try and breathe more heavily than usual. Take your feet a bit wider, so do me a wide march. Good. Lovely, well done, Kate, looks really good. Do me eight more. Eight, seven, good. All right, move in to a squat with a tap and a clap. Here we go, there, there, good. Good, lovely. You can make it a slower one if it's more comfy. Good. All right, ready for a squat and a tap. Here we go, I want you to squat and tap. And we're just gonna sway from side to side in the chair. That's it, good. Try and sit tall. Now then, if you can, ready to reach an arm across the chest. There, good. That's it, lovely. And this will start getting you warmer. And again, try and stand tall and sit tall. Good. All right, a bit harder, reach your arm above your head. There. It's harder when you reach up. There. Good. All right, have a rest. Go back to your squat and tap. Here we go. There. Well done, well done. And again, let's do four, let's do three, let's do two. Squat and tap, off you go, it's reach. Good, lovely, excellent. And again, reach across the chest, superb. Well done everybody, looks great. Now then, reach to the ceiling, off you go, there. 
Good. Eight more if you can. Eight. Good. Well done. All right, new move. Take the heels towards the bottom there. Good. So Dorothy, we'll have our knees just in line with our hips. Good. Knees out wide. Lovely. Heel towards your bottom. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good. Last eight to finish. Good. Last four. Fantastic. All right. Change that to a step and a touch. Good. Good. Sitting tall. This is as hard as it's going to get now. Good. Looking good, everyone. Use your arms if you can. Do me two steps that way. Do me two steps. Good. And back again. Use your arms if you can. Good. And again. It's two. Two. We're going to do a combination. Single step touch. Double step over the top. Single step. Double step. Over the top. Lovely. All right. Let's do a tap behind you, lunge behind you. You can take your arms in front, or if you want to give those shoulders a bit of a rest, do a bicep curl. Looks good. Well done. Good. All right, Dorothy, we're going to stand up. Ready? Here we go. Or you're going to squat down. Good. And lower. And again, it's lift. Down you go. All right, well done. Ready from the beginning. Step and touch. Off you go. Good. Well done, everyone. Nice big arms if you can here. Let's do four more. Three. Good. Two. All right, two steps. Off you go. Two of them. Good. Use as much space as you can. Good. And again, excellent, Kate. Looking really good. Well done, Robert. Right. Ready for your combination. Step and swing. Go over the top. Go over the top. And again. Well done. All right, ready to tap behind you? Here we go. <laughs> well done. Excellent, Kate. Looking really good. That's it, just keep your feet moving, nice deep breaths. Ready to step and touch with your combination. Here we go, over the top. And again, so this is it to finish. Big lift if you can. We've got two more, two more big ones. There. Really good, well done. One more to go. Good, march on the spot, off you go. Fantastic, well done everybody. Sit tall, nice big march. All right, we're gonna do big moves and small moves. So, try and make this one a big one, ready? Here we go. Nice deep breath, oh, well done, that's great. Just like you're walking up a hill. Good. Now ease it down. Ease down. Ease down. Well done. Are you ready to do that again? Big march if you can. Off you go. Really use those arms. Really use those legs. And still softly and relax it down. Small. Small. Good. Sit tall. Catch your breath. Change it to a side tap. Off you go. Like you've done before. Good. Good. Can you make it bigger? Ready? Go. Reach. Big. Use as much effort as you can. Big. Big. And again, it's big. Well done. Nice deep breaths. Big as you can. Okay. Ease it down. Well done. Take a breather. Smaller arms. Good. All right. Do me two taps to your right. Two of them. So two on the same leg. Two on the same leg. Double. Arms at shoulder height, if you can. Let's do three more. You ready to make it a bit bigger to finish? Ready, here we go. It's two. Two. Good, two. Two, and a 
again, it's two. Just touch the toe, big as you can, strong arms, well done, and march. Good. Well done. Good. Excellent. All right. Well done, everybody. All right, we're going to start to cool down now. So you've done the really hard work. That's great. Good. Well then, we're going to do a new move. It's a mambo cha-cha-cha. So, have a look if you like and join in when you're ready. Ready? Here we go. We've got mambo, cha-cha-cha and mambo. One, two, three. In front, one, two, three. As much movement as you can. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Heel dig. Off you go. Heels. Well done. That's great. Looks really good, everyone. Sit tall. Four more. Three. Two. All right, do me a march again. Off you go. March, off you go. Bit smaller. You ready for your mambo cha-cha-cha? Ready, off you go. It's mambo. Cha-cha-cha, mambo. So it can be smaller now. That's it. And again, it's four. Three, two, heel dig, off you go. It can be smaller, smaller, smaller. Now march, off you go. It can be smaller, it can be smaller. Well done, nice deep breaths. Good, all right, can you finish with a nice deep breath in, reach up to the ceiling? Good. One more. Lovely. All right, now then, just move the heels for me. There, there, there. Lovely. Well done. Nice, easy breathing. Cool right down. Well done. All right. And you can have a rest before we start with your strength and balance. The first exercise is really going to target your back muscles. So lift the band if you've got one. It's pull and squeeze. Wrists firm, elbows right in together. Well done. Bring it forwards and rest. One more. It's squeeze wrist firm or squeeze those shoulder blades together, Kate. Well done. If you're at home and you don't have a band, remember to use your weights. Squeeze. Bring it forwards and rest. Let's do it again. Let's try and do three more. Squeeze. Don't hold your breath. And rest. Two more. That's lovely, Robert. Pull. Squeeze the shoulder blades in together. Good. All right. Last couple. There. And squeeze. Well done. Excellent. And release. Let's do one more time. There. Squeeze. Fantastic. And release. Good. Give your shoulders a roll. Well done. All right. Pop your bands behind you. We're going to stand up and sit down or squat down and stand up. Feet behind your knees, Dorothy. Come to the front of the chair. Lean forwards and ready. Push up. Power up. Lovely. Or squat down. Up you can. Fantastic. Make sure you can feel the chair if you're standing with a chair and then lower yourself down. Bottom goes backwards, everyone. Fantastic. Good. Ready and lift again. Push. Good. Really working those thighs. Good. Bottoms backwards. Knees over the ankles all the way back and we're sitting. Let's do it again. Ready and power up. Well done. Excellent for your thighs and off you go, lower back down into the chair. Good, make this the last one, lovely. If anyone feels dizzy at the top, just move your feet a little bit, good. And then come back down again, well done. And relax, we'll stand up, fantastic. All right, grab your band again, and let's pop it either behind your back or behind the back of your chair. We're gonna work the chest. Here we go, squeeze forwards across the chest, open and release, well done. 
forwards, go across the chest to really work the chest muscles open and release. Let's do it again. Try and keep a nice firm wrist there. Lovely. Try not to hold your breath. That's good. Squeeze. Really work that chest. Good. Let's do two more and then you're done. Let's go squeeze. You can do more of these at home if you want to. We're doing six today. One more time. Squeeze. Across and release back slowly. Well done. All right, take hold of the band if you've got one. Feet and knees together. We're gonna to wrap it around the thighs or you're gonna step out to the side, Kate. Are you ready? So, feet go to hip width apart. Sit or stand tall. All right, press the knees open or press one leg open, that's great. And come back to the center. Let's do it again. Squeeze. Keep those feet flat on the floor if you're doing the seated version. Feet nice and flat. Well done. And release. Well done. We're working the muscle that crosses over the hip. And release. Let's do it again. Press open if you're standing. Supporting leg bent. And release. Do it again. It's press. Good and release. Well done. Let go of the band. We're going to work on the back of your arms now. So pop your feet on top of the band. Thumbs pointing down if you've got a band. Sit tall. Squeeze your arms backwards. Take them back. I'm going to do both at the same time. You can do one at a time if you want to. And release. Do it again. It's squeeze. So stand or sit tall. Chest forwards. Good, and again. With the weight, keep the elbow high, fantastic. Brilliant, and release. Pull back, good, hold it there. Great, and release, excellent. Again, and release, well done. All right, we're gonna get ready for your balance section now. So I want you to sit or stand tall, your feet hip width apart. I'm going to start off by pulling your toes, by pulling your heels up. Ready? Here we go. It's lift the heels and release. Do it again. Come up onto the big toe. Hold. Good. Let's do it again. Here we go. It's lift. This is really going to work on our strength as we're sitting down, back, Dorothy. Hello, well done. Let's do it again. You can try and do 10 at home. Good. All right, that's lovely. We're going to do one more. Come right up onto the ball of your foot and onto that big toe joint. Well done. And release. Good. All right, just walk through those feet to get a bit of blood back in those calves again. All right, and release. Other way now, I want you to pull the toes up. We're going to pull the toes up. Good. And relax it down. All right, let's do it again. Ready? Really difficult without support. Excellent work. Try not to push your bottom out. And release. Let's do it again. Try and stand tall onto those heels. Really working the front of the uh, calves there. And release. Let's do one more. Lift. Good. Try not to hold your breath, that's great. Well done, and release. Well done, we're gonna stand on one leg. So, stand on your strongest leg, take the heel behind you, and lift. Dorothy, we're gonna lift one knee up and hold it there for some strength, fantastic. Knees nice and close if you can. That's good, and relax. All right, other leg. Supporting leg slightly bent if you're standing and lift and hold. Well done. Excellent. Good work. And release down. Well done. Sit tall. Take one leg in front of the other leg. Both feet facing forward like you're on a tightrope. Well done. Really difficult again without support. Good work. Excellent. And release. Now change side. So the other foot goes in front, like you're on a tightrope. Stand or sit tall. Make sure the weight is even through both feet. Good. 
Well done. And relax that down, good. And just move through those feet again. Move through those heels nice and gently. Well done. All right. Now then, you can sit in a relaxed position for this. Sit or stand in a relaxed position. We're going to work on your pelvic floor. So pelvic floor, really important throughout life because it helps us stop being in, incontinent or any embarrassing leaks. What I want you to think about is the muscle that you use to stop you from going for a wee. I want you to squeeze in, lift and hold and release. Let's do that again. Squeeze in and lift. Remember, it's not the muscle in your bottom. It's the one that's going to stop you from going for a wee mid-wee if you need to. These are your slow twitch fibres in your pelvic floor. And release. So let's do it one more time. Squeeze in. Good. Well done. And release. Let's do the same thing, but do it quicker. Ready, steady, here we go. It's squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Good, let's do it one more time. And rest, well done. Try and do them 10 times a day if you can. All right, let's just get ready for your stretch. So let's move through the feet nice and gently. Good, if you can, add in your arms, one or both. Just a really easy march to finish. Easy, easy, well done. Lovely, you can take away the arms, just the legs, nice and gently. Just getting ready for the stretch. It's a good idea to do a little bit of movement just before we stretch. Now then, just lift the heels up one at a time. Small movement, small movement. Good, well done. And relax there. Good. All right, let's get ready for your stretch. So let's start with your chest stretch. So sit and stand tall, reach round and either grab hold of the back of the chair or pop your hands on the small of your back and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Push your chest forwards. Don't hold your breath. This one's excellent for posture, really helping to get those shoulders back and down and opening out the chest. Well done and release down. Okay, and just give those shoulders a roll. Great. All right, let's do a calf stretch. So if you're sitting down, take one leg forwards, pull the toe up towards you and push the heel away. Lovely. If you're standing, it's both feet facing forwards. That's it, supporting knee bent. Heel flat on the floor if you can at the back there. That's great. That's lovely. Both feet facing forwards if you're standing. That's great. Super and relax let's change sides good other leg goes in front toe up heel away this one's really good for your walking stride gives you a really nice long stride when you walk this calf stretch that's it good it keeps your ankles nice and flexible and relax lovely sit up tall or stand up tall one arm on one shoulder so same shoulder and then push your elbow up towards the ceiling. And relax that down. Good. Now change sides. Hand on shoulder, elbow up, let the hand creep down your spine. Great. And this stretch is really good for keeping putting on blouses, putting on shirts and coats. Really good for keeping this muscle flexible and relax down great hamstring stretch back of the thigh take one leg in front hands go on your bent leg and you lift up tall and ease your bottom up towards the ceiling well done good foot nice and relaxed and let the stretch come up the back of that thigh good this one's excellent for getting down towards your feet and putting on shoes tying up shoelaces and lift up good one more to go other side there sit tall over you go so take your time getting into position and hold it still hold it still well done good and up you come 
Last stretch to go. Reach one arm up towards the ceiling. Good. Reach a bit taller and go over the top of your head, holding onto the chair or your waist for a bit of support. Try not to hold your breath. And relax down. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Ready? Turn your head, look to your right or your left, it doesn't matter, just turn your head, keep your shoulders back and down. Gently come back to the centre and then gently just look the other way. Good, keep your shoulders back and down and your chest forwards. Good. Chin back to the centre. Now if it's comfy, take one ear towards your shoulder. Just go as far as is comfy for you. Good. It's giving that neck a stretch. <laughs> Up you come. And change sides. Good. And come back to the middle. Okay, let's give your shoulders a roll. You're going to wake yourself up again now. Give your shoulders a roll. Fantastic, one more. Good, all right. I want you to give your knees a rub. Give your thighs a rub. Good, come up and rub those hips and your lower back. Good, all right. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, other side, shoulders, elbows, wrists. Give your fingers a wiggle. Well done. Well done, just waking yourself up, give yourself a march on the spot. Well done, well done, well done. And give yourselves a clap. Well done, you've done it. Well done everybody, excellent. For me, the benefits of exercise are that I feel so much better after I've exercised. It also helps the tone of your muscles and because not all that long ago, I was playing badminton with the family. I fell over like a tin soldier, broke my neck of femur. I think the fact that I had done a lot of exercise prior to the accident um, meant that my recovery was much, much quicker. I'm coming up to 83 years old and I do aerobics and uh, after the session of aerobics, I go into the gym and do, well, personally, I do 12 machines, 12 weight machines. If you miss one or two weeks, it's quite difficult to get back into. So really, it's important to exercise every week. The older you get, the more you need to exercise your, your, your elbows and your muscles and everything, it's, it's everything. I think the sad thing is now that we think exercise is is something perhaps a bit special when actually it should be part of normal life and it's more difficult to do it when you're uh, stuck at home and can't get out um, but every little bit of exercise you take is good for the body it's good for the breathing oxygenate the brain if you don't exercise your thigh muscles you're more likely to trip up and fall and break something and um, i think thigh muscles are almost the most important part of you to exercise because so many people do fall and have fractures and it's good for your well-being of your mind. I'm sure it does help people as you get older, and a lot of us are on our own, and it, it gets you out to mix with other people and socialise. Yeah, it's brilliant. By doing exercise, you'll be able to do things for yourself, and also you'll get friends from there, so you won't be idle, and you'll get people ringing you or talking to you, which make you feel better. And if you become lonely, then you become very depressed, as you all know, which is not good for a human being. And so I want to be independent, so I am always like to do things for myself. I cook and I go to shopping. And you don't realize you are doing exercises when you are doing cooking in the can because it's not easy. You're always walking about, so you are doing exercises. So life is what you make it. By doing five time exercise, my prey going down and up and every day, and that is good my exercise. And going to knees, then going bend down, coming up, and good for all the muscles. Parts of the body don't work quite as well as they used to, but uh, one learns to accept that. 
And if you do that, uh, and accept the fact that everything you do as you get older takes longer. And so you, it's a question of adjusting accordingly. I've got arthritis in my hand and I, my knees are very bad. So there's a lot of things I can't do, but I do what I can because I've been coming for several years before I had arthritis. And we're all such good friends here, I wouldn't want, not want to come. So I do what I can, and if I drop something, somebody picks it up for me. Hopefully. <laughs> and you've, you've got the social side to it as well. And that's equally as important as keeping fit as well. Afterwards you go in and have a cup of coffee and a biscuit or something like that and then you start talking to other people and move on to other things, to other, uh, there's, there's other things which you can do. When we, when we come home we feel, we feel good about it and also enjoy exercise with my grandson which is, uh, which, which is a bit of fun and uh, I think he enjoys it too. Well, if you don't use it, you lose it, and that just mm. that sums it up totally, really. Mm. And anybody who thinks that it's okay to sit as a couch potato, well, they're pushing their luck, can't they? <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed the class today and found an exercise position that suited you, whether it was seated, supported, freestanding, or perhaps even a mixture of all three. Try to exercise on most days of the week if you can and aim to build up to at least 30 minutes. Exercise safely and most of all, have fun. <laughs>